Humor is one of the rare things that everyone enjoys regardless of age or gender and is the most effective way to bring positive feelings to your world. If you enjoy watching people, you would see that children laugh hundreds of times every day, but adults hardly laugh. As we grow, expectations of family and society, and how we should be, what we should have accomplished, and how we should act, takes away from the path of who we indeed are, and embracing our true self, warts and all. By finding more opportunities for humor, not only can you achieve greater happiness but also add years to your life. Positive humor involves telling jokes about things and situations that everyone might find funny. It's like a medicine that draws people together. The ability to crack up and laugh at positive jokes strengthens our immune system, reduces stress, and boosts our overall mood. It's also an excellent way to maintain a balance between your mind and body. People with real humor tend to inspire hope and forgive sooner. I recall going for a job interview and being nervous. My stomach was churning, and I wanted to make a great impression as this was my opportunity for my dream job. In the middle of the interview, my nervous stomach began to churn. I carried on answering the questions but was not fully present and focused. I was squeezing my butt cheeks together tightly. You know that moment when you realize that no matter what you do, the thing you don't want is going to happen? Well, sure enough, I could not squeeze any tighter. I thought to myself, just try releasing it slowly in the hope that there would be no sound. Try as I might, it did not release slowly. Then in my mind, I panicked and jumped to OK it happened now pretend it didn't, maybe they will think it was something or someone else. I kept looking at their facial expressions. I focused on their eyes to see if they were darting back and forth, trying to determine the direction of the sound. I wondered if my face showed the embarrassment and guilt I was feeling. At this point, my ability to answer any question intelligently left me. I was sure my answers were a clear indication that it was me who created the sound in the room. I wondered if this was the time to just fess up to my actions. Would this help or hinder the job interview? I couldn't decide on the best course of action, so I held steady to the denial of it wasn't me. I could hardly wait for the interview to be over. I left believing that they knew the whole time it was me and this opportunity was not going to be mine. There is no rule book to let people know what to do in such a situation. I walked to my car, disappointed and replayed the whole scenario in my head and laughed so hard that I was crying. As I was crying, my body relaxed, and my stomach churned some more, and I began to laugh harder. The more I laughed I found that my stress over the situation decreased. I did not get an offer for the position. However, I was able to laugh at my humanness and move forward. Humor can lift oneself but there is also humor that demeans. Cynical humor does not enhance anyone's life. It is a type of humor that attacks and mocks others and is associated with low self-esteem. Self-depreciation humor, though seen as a positive type of fun, can be destructive as well. Self-depreciation humor helps to counter tough situations and is intended to lift our spirits and gives us the strength to get back on our feet as realizing we are human and have faults is essential to our sanity. However, if one's inner thoughts are harmful and self-destructive, the positive aspect is lost and the humor then becomes aggressive, in that we attack or mock ourselves. Humor is an essential life skill that creates a balance between thoughts and feelings. It's like having an immune system in your mind. Instead of fighting off infections and viruses, this immune system protects against negative thoughts. Laughter can enhance your creativity and improve your health. A fun working environment increases the productivity of the employees and brings them closer. Humor is a great communication tool that prevents burnout and reduces stress that is often experienced by employees that work long shifts. In an organization where humor is part of the environment, employees show more dedication to work. A good laugh releases serotonin in the brain, which increases overall brain power and improves focus. Laughter also increases endorphins which stimulates the heart, lungs, and many other organs. With increased brain power from laughing, your analytical skills become more precise, and decision-making is more aligned with who you indeed are.
Whether in the office or your day-to-day -day life, humor is a highly useful tool to communicate information that people might not like. When a funny guy delivers controversial messages, the fun distracts people from looking at the negative side. Business negotiations that take place in a humorous environment are more reliable. The talks are smoother, and stakeholders in the negotiations create a bond that builds trust. They tend to have stronger relationships with their peers, which also increases their overall likability. Laughter is the best solution to many problems. It is so profound that some experts believe it can positively change the entire world. So laugh more worry less, and make this world a better place.